So I am going to turn this over to Miss Connie from Aunt Connie's Education. Wow, she's awesome, y'all. She's awesome. Thank you. Okay, good afternoon, everyone. Can everyone hear me? Yeah. I'm going to have to project a little bit here. So this afternoon, we're going to make salad in a jar. All right, so Aunt Connie's is, um, I started this business about eight, nine years ago. I retired from Rich Products and decided that I wanted to teach the community wherever I can about healthy food. So today, not only am I gonna show you how to make this delectable snack, but we're gonna do everything from scratch. Scratch cooking. And I will show you through this demonstration how to get there. So first and foremost, we always clean our hands before we start anything. And Ms. Della gave me this, so always remember to clean your hands. I am also a um, instructor for the National Restaurant Association, and I teach healthy, teach, I teach um, the uh, food safety program for the National Restaurant Association. So that's why cleanliness is always in the forefront of my mind and keeping our kitchen straight. All right, so since everything's from scratch, today we're going to make a honey mustard dressing. Honey mustard. And most people look at me and say, well, we just get it out of the jar. No, one of the reasons why we don't want to get it right out of the jar is because Processed food is probably the worst thing that you can eat. Now, everything in moderation. You're not gonna be able to go all the way to freshly prepare all the time. We are very busy people. There's time involved in this. So I will also show you a shortcut at the end. But you must read labels. You must be mindful of what you're putting in your body because processed food is probably oh, okay, the sorry. most detrimental ingredient that we can be putting in our bodies causing cancer. In fact, just a little side note, I just saw where there was a study done regarding uh, sucralose, which is Splenda. And mm -hmm. in that study, they're talking about the fact that that ingredient actually destroys your DNA cells. Wow. The destruction of your DNA cells means you are now susceptible to cancer and all kinds of other illnesses. So, what we want to do today is jump right in here and let's start making our dressing. It's really, really simple and I have the recipe here. All you do is take some apple, uh, cider vinegar, a little olive oil. Now I use olive oil for most of my cooking versus vegetable oil. Olive oil of course comes from the trees and when you look at people who come from that region of the world, what do you notice about them? Their skin. Their skin is beautiful. It's partly due to the fact that they have a lot of olive oil in their diet as well as water. That is a big one. How many people had a drink of water already today? Okay, how many had two drinks of water today? All right, this is a great group. How many had three glasses of water? Uh-oh, uh-oh, we're falling behind. Water is the key to life. That is the definite truth. Okay, and then we're gonna put in a little bit of honey. Now honey, um, a lot of people use honey to sweeten. Just one caution. Do not give honey to uh, your children under one years old because honey has a bacteria in it 
um, that is harmful to young, young children. So you can have it, but don't give it to your young children. Okay, and then last but not least, we're gonna add some Dijon mustard. That's really the key here, mm -hmm. honey mustard. Great. It's gonna have a little kick. You notice how it always has a little kick to it? Yeah. That's the reason why, because you're using Dijon mustard. I'm gonna put about, uh, I put um, a tablespoon of each, but I'm gonna kind of load up on this Dijon mustard. It's really, really easy. And the reason why this version is healthier is because I'm not going to put any mayo in it. Mayo is fat. You don't want to add a lot of fat to your diet. You need fat, but you don't want to keep adding fat to your diet. And so that's why this one is really nice. And I chose it because we're outdoors in the heat and we don't want to have mayo out. So you just whisk that up. And voila, we have honey mustard dressing. Yeah, that easy. One, two, three. All right, now let's jump into some of these ingredients. Um, the first ingredient I have in there is cucumbers. Cucumbers. Everybody loves cucumbers, right? I am. Okay. Now, you know the trick? I'm going to just show you a few knife skills. I'm going to use a serrated knife just because um, when you're using these uh, ingredients that have hard, thick skins, you don't want to dull your knife. So I'm using a serrated knife. Now the key to cooking and cutting is you always want a flat surface because if it rolls around on you, then you raise the chances of injuring yourself. So I'm always going to make a flat surface. So first you cut it in half, okay? And then that way we can cut from there because everything's flat and easy to handle, okay? And then I'm gonna strip that. Now obviously, you know, when I have cooking classes, everybody wants to be a ninja, like they see on TV. I would not advise that if you're starting out. But the, the idea here is cutting skills are very easy. Keep everything flat and just have a process. So now if I want to make this into chunks, all I have to do, and remember the claw. When you are cooking and cutting, we don't want any fingers sticking out. The claw, remember the claw, because if you have your claw and you slip, it'll slip up against your hand and you won't cut yourself. So I'm not gonna go too far on that, but that's where we are. Now, what we're gonna do is what the French call mise en place. You're learning a lot of new terms here today. Mise en place. Mise en place. What that means is everything in its place. So when I cook, I do everything, all my ingredients first. I'm, I'm a measuring cook. Some people do this, but the key to healthiness is measurement because then you don't overload with salt and etc. And if you make an error, you can recoup and you don't mess up your entire meal because you made a mistake. So I always do mise en place. So the first is cucumbers. Then I'm gonna jump over here to, um, I usually use Roma tomatoes, but I ran across these heirloom tomatoes, which are just absolutely the best. They are so sweet. So I decided I'm gonna do that. Again, I'm always gonna make everything flat, cut it in half, Cut it in half again, and we're good to go. I'm just gonna do a few of those. But again, mise en place. We're gonna cut everything up, Mise get it together place. before we assemble. Because everything goes quickly when you get to the assembly part. So I'll just do a few more of those. But these are so sweet and so good, I could not resist. But you can always use Roma tomatoes, okay? All righty. Next on the list, I'm gonna put some corn in here. Now all of these ingredients that I'm using, antioxidants. Anybody know what antioxidants do for the body? They prevent cancer. They help, they're good for your heart, and so therefore you want to eat as many antioxidants as you possibly can. Vitamin C, 
also helps. No tomatoes? Actually, I did a sample without tomatoes because I knew somebody was going to be here who couldn't eat tomatoes. So at the end, make sure you remind me to give you one with no tomatoes. Okay. Now, carrots. As you can see, everything I'm doing is fresh, right out the ground. Fresh yes. carrots. All righty. I always think of Bugs Bunny when I see that. That's right. I was thinking what's up, too. What's up, Doc? <laughs> Remember that? <laughs> okay. So very quickly, again, I'm kind of just giving you some tools of the kitchen. We're just going to shred that up real quick so that we have some. I'll give you the rest. <laughs> I don't have gloves on, though. I don't have gloves on. I love carrots too, especially when they're fresh like this. They don't taste, I'll, I always try to use fresh carrots because they taste so much better than the ones in the bag. The ones in the bag, again, have been processed. They have to wash them. They have to give them a coating so that they remain fresh while they're traveling and in the stores, etc. These, mother nature, all the way. That's why they taste so good. Okay, so I'm just gonna do a little of that. All right, once again, I got my mise en place going here. So we've got cucumbers, we've got tomatoes, we've got carrots, and while I'm here, let me just shred a little cheese. Now let's talk a little bit about cheese. You go to the store and you see these bags are already shredded up, right? Mm -hmm. Read the label. Most of that cheese, you'll see on the, on the bag, it'll say, made with real cheese. That doesn't mean that everything in that bag is real because the laws in our country allow them to give percentages of items. Whenever you see anything that says made with, made with, read the bag. So, one of the reasons why I shred my own cheese is I know it's cheese, okay? And again, it's quick and easy. Always just be careful that you don't get your knuckles on the shredder, but it's quick and easy. Now, everyone's buying, I mean, you pay for convenience. I think I noticed that a bag of shredded cheese was about, I'm gonna say, $3.59 or something like that. This whole brick costs $3.59 and I can use this for everybody in here, okay? So, just be mindful. The, the most inexpensive way of cooking is from scratch. I know you don't always have time, but guess what? You can do these things, some of these things ahead of time, put them in baggies, put them in your refrigerator, and then when you're ready to roll, all you gotta do is assemble. That's it. You know, some things can be frozen. That's it. So never let time, I, I always say to people, the time it takes to go through the line at McDonald's or Chick-fil-A, you can have a meal made from scratch, okay? All righty. Let's get this rolling here. So now I've got my cheese done. And what am I missing? I got everything going here. I've got some black beans that I pulled out of a can. Although you can make those from scratch too. And last but not least, I'd like to talk about corn. We are in the best corn region ever and corn is abundant right now it's going to get even more abundant as the summer goes on and you can make your own corn you don't have to take it out of the can what i did was i pre-cooked my corn if you leave it in the husk throw it in the microwave four minutes it's perfect every time every time and the easiest way to shred a husk of corn you know how it has all that uh, silk inside is to cut off the end and then just simply peel it off and it'll fall right off. Everything falls right into your hand and you don't have to worry about that husk, so, that, I'm um, sorry, the, the silk so much. See how easy that was? Comes right off. 
Okay. Perfect. Perfect. Perfect every time. When it's warm, it comes off even better. Yeah. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Okay. So here we have our corn. Once again, I'm going to use my serrated knife. And what we're going to do is, now what I did was simply took a small bowl, turned it upside down in a larger bowl, okay, and then you're just going to peel it right off. Easy peasy. Okay. This is the best way to have fresh corn. You can put it in, on your salads, you can make casseroles, you can do whatever. It's easy as can be. And then you just break it up and it's just like the corn in the can. Okay, easy peasy. All right. So now I've got some lettuce and I chose spring mix. Let's talk a little bit about lettuce. And this Gayo has a lot of lettuce over here she's gonna talk about. This is iceberg. Everybody and their brother wants iceberg lettuce. This is the least healthiest lettuce you can buy. Lettuce is about 95, 96% water. So it's good if you have lettuce because you're getting another dose of liquid that you need. But the reason why this isn't so healthy is because it grows in a ball. And what happens is sun is what causes our vegetables to have nutrients. That's why sometimes even when with the carrots, I don't always, oops, sorry, I don't always take the skin off because your nutrients are in the skin. I don't always take the, you notice I didn't take the skin off the cucumber because your nutrients are in the skin. The sun is what causes it. The sun can't get inside of this. So therefore, leafy lettuces are the best. They have much more nutrients in them than your, um, than your iceberg does. So I'm just going to, just ahead of time, got a spring mix out. And we're going to now start to assemble. This is going to go quick. So I'm going to start with my dressing. <laughs> we put a little bit of dressing. And the key is, once when you can no longer see the layer, below so now I can't see the bottom of the jar you know you have put in enough put your heavier ingredients in first so I'm gonna go with cucumber first put a layer of cucumber in there okay I like cucumber so I'm gonna do that and then if you feel an artistic then start doing it with the colors. So next I'm going to put orange on top of that. So I'm going to put some carrots in there. And as you can see, it's starting to become a really beautiful creation. Okay. I'm going to put some black beans next because they con oh, I got, I got it. it contrasts with my orange. So I'm going to put some black beans in there. Can everyone see? Yes. It's it starts to come together. It looks like a work of art. It is. It is. Okay. The and then I'm going to go to my tomatoes. And again, when you're looking down from the top, when you can't no longer see the layer below it, you know you've got enough. This is what it's starting to look like. Then I'm going to put some lettuce in. Now, the key here is you want to make sure you have room on top. Because once you do this, I didn't think you knew that you're going to have exercise when you do your salad. <laughs> I'm going to put a little cheese on top. That's beautiful. Okay. So. That's what it looks like when we're finished. I did plastic for you all because it's in the park. But here's the key. You can put this, you can make these ahead of time. They'll last two to three days in your refrigerator. So if you are trying to prepare something for lunch before you go to school, before you go out for, for work or whatever, 
You can have these handy. All you got to do is grab and go. That's what you do in the store. You grab it, you pay, you go, right? You can do the same thing at home. But when you're ready to eat it, all you got to do is shake. Shake, 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 and then you eat. That's great.